Hello everyone, this is Adam Provost from Nutanix. In this video, we're going to review how to do local user management from within Prism Central. Let's get started. I'm going to click on my bump out, go to Prism Central settings, and then I'm going to navigate down to local user management. The first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to take a look at this admin user that I'm logged in as now. Click on the pencil and you'll see I've got my username, I've got my language, and you can see that I'm the user admin as well as the Prism Central admin. Okay, this is the uh, baked in account. Once you set up authentication uh, and role mapping with uh, Active Directory enabled accounts, uh, we're going to do another video on that, which will cover that more in depth. But once you do that, you actually have the ability to disable the local administrator account. So you're going to click on back here. We're going to head and create a new user. Click on new user. We're going to call this user read only. First name is going to be read. Last name is going to be only. Uh, it's going to be read only at I don't have access.com and the password is going to be a secret. Okay. Our language option here, you'll notice that uh, I have English, you have Chinese and Japanese. We're going to leave English. Our role options are going to be user admin and then Prism Central admin. And if we choose neither of those, the default will be a read only account. Go ahead and click save. Now we have our read only account and our local admin account. Let's go ahead and log out and test it out. So we sign off. Now we're going to log in as read only. We're going to log in with our super secret password. And so as we log in, we'll notice that things look similar. But when we go down to virtual uh, infrastructure and something like VMs, uh, in your list, if I were to click on this VM and I were to try to make changes, you'll notice that there's no buttons up here. I don't have the ability to. So if I go back to my VM list and even down to VM summary, you'll see that the create VM button is there. It doesn't actually work. You're unable to go ahead and create a VM. And so what you're seeing here is that the read-only account based on the roles that we've assigned to it does not have any account access to be able to create, make changes, or update. A read-only account is actually really good and common for uh, managers who want to be able to see things but don't want to do things, um, IT help desks that want to use dashboards and create views, um, and things like that. Many customers do connect it to Active Directory, but in this video we focused only on local user accounts. Thanks. Have a great day.